This product right here could get you in a lot of trouble. What is it? It's silicone caulking. There's good and bad, and this is a great product, so let's talk about that right after this. All right, thanks for stopping by my channel here at That Kilted Guy DIY Home Improvement. And today what I want to talk to you about is silicone caulking because I've seen some terrible mistakes made with this. This can be the worst product you could ever use in certain situations. And in others, it might be the best. So let me tell you a little bit about it. I've got some uh, sound, a little sample board here. I'm going to demonstrate why it's so bad. And then we're also going to talk about why it's a good product and why it's a bad product and how you can fix this if it goes bad. So what I'm talking about, first of all, is uh, I once I've seen this before, but I once went into a restaurant where they had done all their own painting and caulking and that quite a bit of their own work. Well, it looked terrible where they did their cut in and that was because they used non-paintable silicone caulking. If you use that in areas where you're gonna paint and you try and cut into it, it, it will uh, beat up and try and not stick to it, basically. It just doesn't wanna stick to silicone caulking. There is one out there, there's a kind out there, it says paintable, but you gotta make sure you get that one. And basically, that one isn't 100% silicone. So if you really need the durability and everything silicone, you just gotta stick with this and know you can't paint it. Now, if you wanna be able to paint it, this is siliconized acrylic latex. So this is the paintable version of caulking and the one that says silicone and paintable, it has some of this in it. So it's kind of a hybrid and that's why it'll work. So again, the big problem with this is that you can't paint to it. it will beat up so this, the areas to use this is like bathtubs kitchen tile areas anywhere where you're not going to paint if this is going to get on drywall don't use it i'm going to show you why and how bad it is here in a minute the advantages to silicone is it's incredibly durable it lasts longer than the siliconized acrylic latex caulk it sticks better it has more flexibility it's totally waterproof. It's just a really good durable product, but it can only be used in those areas and it doesn't wipe quite as easily. It doesn't uh, like you can't really wet your finger and do that as much. So you got to be a little better at caulking, but it works great. So let me tell you a few more things it says on here. They often label this as kitchen and bath because again, where there's tile countertops and that it works great and it has a 10 year mold free resistance. So this is way more mold free resistant than this. I've seen this used in tubs and showers and I've seen it black and moldy. You probably have two. This will last a lot longer. Uh, it says five times stronger adhesion, 40% more flexibility, shrink and crack proof and low odor, lifetime guarantee. Now, one of the drawbacks that a lot of people don't know is this is hard on your eyes. The fumes in here, it's kind of a vinegary smelling fume. It says if you wear contacts, it can be hard on them. And I used to wear contacts and it was hard for me to use this stuff because it did burn and make my contacts feel really weird. It says it can be hard on the contacts, so just be careful if you're using this and you wear contacts. But now let's get into the demonstration. So as you can see here, I've got silicone, a strip here, the Alex uh, siliconized acrylic latex caulk. It's just called, as you can see on here, it's Alex Fast Dry. I'll show you up close. And then I just put a few more strips so we can test how to solve the problem of if you've already done that. Because I know some of you are going to show up here looking for that answer and I hope I can answer that for you. I've honestly never had to solve the problem so I wasn't sure if it can be done. So I did a little research. What they suggest makes sense. So we're gonna try that and see if it works. So I'm gonna show you my test board. 
Now, if you look at it here, if I turn it, you might be able to see it better on camera. The, this one will be dull. All these others will have a shine to them. That's one reason paint doesn't want to stick. Paint doesn't like to stick to shiny objects. If you're going to paint something shiny, you usually need to scuff it up or put some. It's basically a chemical sander. I can't think of the name right now. I'm really tired, but it will chemically uh, deglosser. It'll degloss things. So if you're going to paint something shiny, you usually need to degloss it either with a chemical or by sanding. So I think that's one reason it won't stick. So let's just swab some paint on here and just see what happens. So I'm just using some ordinary house paint and this is some by Sherwin Williams. It is paint with a primer in case you're wondering. It's super paint. It's a satin line, It's good quality paint. But let's try painting over the silicone here and we'll probably have to wait a little bit to see what happens, but. Okay, it's already starting to happen. So you can see it's already beating. If I try and smooth it out again, it's just beating back off of that. Okay, so you can see that's looking pretty terrible. Let's paint over the Alex and see if that's better or not. Hopefully I didn't have any on my finger, but you can see this is beating terrible. That's what it looked like all through the restaurant. And you can see in that close up how bad that's beating and this isn't. So now let's try some experiments to fix it. We're just going to put a little regular caulking, Alex caulking over this right here. Then we're going to treat this one with some uh, denatured alcohol. The denatured alcohol is supposed to kind of soften it, kind of like a de-glosser like I was talking about, and make it a slightly rougher surface so that the paint can stick. Then we're going to try just putting some primer over it, and I'll use this Zinsser Bullseye 123 primer. It's a really good primer. It bonds really well. It's supposed to be great at sticking to hard to stick surfaces. So we'll try that there. Then we'll do the alcohol with that same primer. Then we're going to do oil primer here, and then we'll do alcohol and oil primer there. Okay, we're going to add, start with a fresh brush, get a little primer, and start with that. Okay, we'll see. It looks like that's beating already. Some of these I'm going to have to let dry because, like I say, I'm going to add the Alex right over the top. Now, of course, your other option would be to remove the silicone. Of course, that could be a lot of work. Okay, that's a pretty decent coat. I could put a little more on that edge. Now for the oil primer, I'm going to be using this Sherwin-Williams Pro Block Spray Primer. It is oil-based. It is shook up well. Okay, you can see that one's beating up really bad with just primer. Okay, we'll know that's oil primer. Now let's go ahead and treat these with alcohol. So this is some denatured alcohol. I just happen to keep it handy here. You can see denatured alcohol in a spray bottle. I use this fairly often for cleaning and such, so. That should take care of that. You can see it's making the, the ink run in the marker. So we're gonna let those dry. We'll fan dry them a little bit. Then we'll go ahead and finish treating these. Okay, that's dry, so let's put a little Alex on this one. And we're gonna do the primer on this one. And then let me smear that out. And then we're gonna go ahead and spray the oil primer over this.
Okay, I'm gonna let those dry a little bit and then I'm gonna show you a picture here in just a minute. But what I'm seeing so far is putting paint straight over silicone, absolute disaster. Paint over the Alex caulk, it looks just fine except for the dust I threw in it. Don't throw dust in your caulking. If we add the Alex over the top of it, it looks like with or without the alcohol, it looks like it's sealing it up just fine. So I don't know that we even need the alcohol. We tried the alcohol over here with the primer and the bullseye one, two, three. You can see it beaded just as bad as the paint. With the alcohol, it's a little better, but it's really not up to par. Oil primer with and without the alcohol, there's your real solution. If you wanna just mask it off. So let's say you caulked something and you need to fix it. Well, the, probably the best way would be mask off both sides of it. This is pretty fresh, so it probably won't hold too good, but mask off both sides of your, your silicone caulking. Spray some of this stain blocking primer. I'll put a link to some different kind in the description. It doesn't have to be this kind. Uh, it can be the Kills oil-based spray primer, anything that's oil-based primer. And then you mask it off, spray it on there. Then you could either peel it off or if you wanted to paint it, you know, you could handle the painting from that point. So here's the picture of what the final result looks like and you can see it just continued to get worse. The solution, if you've done this, is either remove it, re it, or you can add this Alex over the top and then repaint it or leave it as is, but the Alex will stick to the silicone. Primer will not, either way, unless it's oil-based so not water-based. Hey, you see that little V right below this video? I mean, right below the video, that's the thing that'll open up the description. I'm gonna put links to things like tools and materials down there, plus links to other things. It's hard to find sometimes, so click that and you'll see that. And hey, you see these other videos and links popping up? These are all clickable links to other things that'll help you out. And as always, I, I appreciate you guys stopping by, giving me that big thumbs up. It really helps my videos. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, everybody. Hey, girl, did you come to help me out on the video? I appreciate that.